Hey guys, Techno here, and this is going to be the second part of my best PVR settings on Mac series. And in the second part, I, the second part, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, how to make uh, a solid and good color correction on iMovie. And the next two parts will talk about color corrections on Final Cut Express and color corrections on Adobe After Effects CS4 so let's open up iMovie I'll be color correcting the same clip in, uh, in this in these uh, three uh, editing softwares so this is the clip we're going to edit I'm not going to play it because it's going to be on my next montage so drag it to your uh, composition, to your project, and I don't know if my computer is being slow or if I oh, okay. So once you have your clip uh, in the, in the timeline, just for instance, oh it's the biggest part. So just I'm going to play it here. And I'm going to go to this little icon, icon here, just drag your mouse over the beginning of the clip and this blue icon will appear, just click it, go to, oh my god this is in Portuguese, go to video adjustments I think, it's going to be something similar and once you have a, a, a window uh, similar to this uh, you're going to do the following, let me just, sorry, let me just remove this from here, okay, so the same thing, so once you have uh, this window, go to the video tab, this one, and this uh, graphic here shows you uh, the color levels, so just drag your cursor arrow a little bit to the right so this is going to simulate curves so because in I uh, curves is a very useful uh, uh, adjustment uh, layer that is available uh, in Adobe After Effects and it helps a lot on color creating uh, clips but uh, you don't have cures in iMovie so you will just have to stick with level and so just drag it to the right until you get a satisfying result it's going to play with the white, uh, mid white, the shadows and yeah so I think that 10% is okay now exposure I like, the, the, I like my clips a little bit darker it gives them more contrast so I'll just try to drag it a little bit to the left but not too much because otherwise it, it's going to look horrible so the the glow I don't know how the brightness I think I don't like to play with it so let's just leave it at zero okay contrast let's just give it some simple contrast maybe 11% and saturation you're going to well this is uh, this really depends uh, on what clip you're uh, editing so this one doesn't need like too much of saturation just a little bit okay so uh, iMovie tends to, when you saturate the colors, it tends to give a uh, green, uh, it tends to uh, turn your, make, like, uh, for, how can I say this, uh, it makes green uh, more, uh, more saturated than the other colors, so, uh, just go to this color circle here, and green is here, so you're just going to drag this little uh, uh, circle, uh, small circle, a little bit to the opposite side of green. 
which is this uh, purple okay so here you have it now just look at your overall results and just adjust it as you want it okay so here we have our color corrected uh, oh too much saturation let me just I knew it was too much so 102 plus contrast plus exposure okay so oh and let me remove the audio so you can hear me okay it's zero percent so now we have our clip color corrected in high movie it's as simple as this and this is just uh, the way I color correct my clips in iMovie but I don't really use iMovie that much I only use it for uh, gameplay commentaries because it's it's, just, it's faster to edit and that's what I usually uh, do so if you come up with uh, some other uh, combinations uh, just uh, leave a comment and yeah, so yeah, this was the second part of uh, of my tutorial uh, on the best uh, HDPR settings on Mac. And yeah, the next part uh, will be about uh, color correcting uh, a clip in Adobe After Effects. So yeah, guys, bye bye. Heads up, enemy RCXD spotted.